Hey guys, this is Killerob speaking and today we continue our play along for the Tour de France 2018 and what a stage we have today. Stage number 12 is one of the uh, biggest and beastiest stages out there. We have three HC climbs to conquer and those are of course not a, a small small challenge for these riders. Uh, Alp de S to finish it off. Sounds good to me. 173 kilometers long and I hope my riders are in good shape. Welcome to Bourg Saint Maurice for the final day of the Alpine triptych. The 175 kilometer route will finish atop the mythical Alpe d'Huez and its 21 hairpin bends. The final showdown will be preceded by a particularly difficult sequence of ascents. The Col de la Madeleine, the Lassay de Mont Vernier and the Col de la Croix de Fer. There's no doubt that all climbers, with or without an interest in the general classification, will do their utmost to add this prestigious 12th stage to their list of achievements. Alright, let's have a quick look at the profile of this. It doesn't even fit in the magnifying glass of this stage. Oh my, that is a lot of mountain in front of us. A lot of mountain. Our riders are looking pretty fresh though. Reasonably fresh. Valverde has a plus two race day condition, which is amazing. Quintana, unfortunately, only a zero. As unlucky, the second day in a row. And then the others are pretty decent. And uh, our youngling here has another shot at it because he's starting pretty far up. So let's have a look if we can't get another attack in. Yep, they're all opening up. So let's see if they let him ride. Okay, well we are up here with a little breakaway group and no one seems to follow. And now they are organizing slightly, but uh, I'm not too worried. That's already well over a minute. Oh, that's a massive. Oh, no, 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 no. Not all of you. What the fuck? No, that's way too many people joining the breakaway. But no one in the peloton seems to be reacting to uh, the additional group going away. And now they have all caught up. That's like a mini, <laughs> mini peloton right now. 20 riders in the escape group and they already have four minutes on the clock that's crazy stuff oh no they let them ride all right first hc climb starting out <laughs> the escapees have seven minutes and we are just just snailing up these uh these slopes right now but that at 130 heart rate it's definitely not taxing just yet now at least the breakaway seems to be controlled at around seven and a half minutes. And we're getting close to the to the top. I do want to make sure that I stay up front and oh oh now they are reacting. Oh oh my god, they are all attacking. Uh don't don't leave me guys, don't leave me. Please. They are going crazy. Ah oh, damn it. 1.5 kilometers left. Already out of juice. All right, we are over the top with this mini peloton of weird Barodeur climber, guys. Oh, no, 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 there's a crash right in front of me. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Froome's down. down. Right, let, let me escape here. Oh, on the outside. Yes. Oh, that was a good, good move, good move. I steered them all the way to the outside. Avoided that. And it looks like we got through unscathed. So it looks like there, there was this split in the peloton, right? And now there are 13 riders up front that were in front of the fall. And we are now trying to pull down into the valley so that we can catch up with them. But they are increasing their advantage. Well, there must have been some serious downhill freaks in, in there because we, we have lost time despite going 99 down here. Okay, so now we have some people here from other teams helping the chase. And there we are back. Oh, that was pretty quick once they uh, were pulling in the flat. They weren't really trying to get away anymore. Oh no, they left me behind. Oh damn it. Oh damn it. That's not good. We're now at the halfway stage. And they already have four minutes. 
Hmm. Well, I can equally well just wait for my team and help them out uh, a little later in this stage. And now we are into the next HC climb. It's very interrupted by all these steps in there, slight downhills. Just adds to the number of uh, vertical meters you have to climb overall. Now we've picked up quite a bit of pace and chasing down my other little rhino still up front. There's a significant gap to uh, the other escapees. About um, five minutes. And then another one minute thirty down to the peloton, which just consists of 20 riders right now. Alright, I uh, just stopped doing work and now I'm back here. He can protect Valverde and just shield him a little bit. That will help. And we are into the final little, well, not so little, incline towards the very top. We're moving very, very slowly. Another attack. A little too slow almost, but there's too much flat before the final climb that you would want to attack here, only if you're like, really, really good and downhill. And even some other riders are catching up again. Oh no! Chris Froome is catching up again! Oh no, he was gone! What happened? Was that still from back back when he was... Uh, he fell behind because he, f uh, he actually fell? Yes. He had a crash. Okay, now he's back. Fuck. Now this is going way too slow. What the fuck are you go doing, guys? What the fuck are you doing? Maybe Soler needs to pull a bit, but then again, I'm, I'm not so I'm not so sure if that is a good idea. Uh, I don't know how well the others are doing in this group. But why don't they want to pull at all? Ah, now they are moving. All right. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. <laughs> oh, that's actually moving hard. Yes, across the top and into the long, long downhill. And now we're in the flat. In the flat before the final climb. Alp Duez is coming. We are approaching. We are approaching the wall. So let's move in there among the first riders. Anything else doesn't make much sense. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. And there we go. Uh, or not quite. Yeah, there, there we go. <laughs> Whoa. Maybe we can tackle it at 75? Oh, who's riding here? Oh, Ben is dead. Okay, where are the others? Uh, Tony Martin. Okay, what are you doing up there? This is not a time trial. Tim Valens. <laughs> All right, you too. You're a really good rider, but uh, this is certainly not your terrain. I kind of want the others to attack, because that's less efficient than just riding constant pace. So let me slow down slightly to give them more of an opportunity to do so, to attack. Still 10 kilometers left. Yeah, crazy. Right, um, we can go 70. Just 22 riders left, soon to be 21, because one of our teammates is currently um, not feeling that well. Uh, let's drop him off. Go 60, up the slopes, recover a bit. Oh, brilliant! Now it starts snowing! Snowy rain! Oh, now they're attacking. I think they're attacking. But uh, that is still six kilometers left to go, six and a half. And up it to 75, but that is all I got. Soler is also kind of dying right now. This is not working out for him. And our lead rider, our helper, is dying as well. Ouch. And there, Yates is attacking. Simon Yates is off. Yes. And Thomas is. Garen Thomas is um, with Richie Port trying to follow. I'm not going to follow the attacks. That burns through uh, energy way too quick. I need that energy. I need that resistance. It is flattening out slightly. But uh, yeah, I, I just can't go that fast. 4.4 kilometers left. 75, 77 maybe. Still 3 kilometers left to go. 
And let's uh, take the energy gel. Last stuff we have remaining. Oh, they're just pulling away. Two kilometers left. Let's go 80. I think Quintana has a little bit more in him. So maybe we can go 85 with him. Or even higher. Tim Valens took it. Okay. So we need to power up here now. I think we have enough. At least for Quintana. He can try to pull a bit. And Valverde can try to hang in there. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is looking good. Come on. Go full speed. Oh, we're coming back, back a bit. And at the end, we have used all our resources. There's nothing left. There we go. Well, 10th and 11th. Quite a few riders got cut as well. They, they just didn't make the uh, the time limit. Oh, one hour, five minutes extra. That wasn't enough. Tim Valens made it through. He uh, beat his colleagues up in the escape group. That's nice riding. And then uh, the first one from from our group was Richie Port. He got a few seconds on the others. Tom Dumoulin even. Oh, oh shit. He's going strong. And then uh, we came in four minutes fifteen behind. Well, not not behind Richie. That was less than a minute. And Chris Froome lost uh, seventeen seconds on us. So overall. We are now 38 seconds and 42 seconds behind Tom Dumoulin. And let's take a look what the next stage is. It is flat! Stage number 13. Not much of a threat. So I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. <laughs>